Alarm bells went off in Mr. Yeo Hoon Chong's head when he was invited to meet three businessmen at their downtown Chinese restaurant three years ago. The trio, who were from Onshi County, offered to donate funds to the Singapore and Kwai Association in exchange for honorary titles in the clan association. Mr. Yeo, who chairs the clan association, turned down their offer as membership is open only to Singapore citizens and permanent residents of Onshi ancestry. Honorary titles and committee membership are reserved for those with a good track record and years of contributing to the association, which marked its 100th anniversary last December. He suspected that the businessman had offered him the quid pro quo to gain quicker access to local citizenship or permanent resident status. Mr. Yeo, 67, said he invited them to join Enquai's monthly lunch sessions instead. But they showed no interest. Following police revelations of the billion dollar money laundering case here, some clan association leaders have expressed relief at having kept out questionable characters from their organizations. But also disappointment over the broad brush characterization of people who hail from Onshi. In August, in one of the biggest anti money laundering operations here, the police arrested 10 foreigners nine men and one woman aged between 31 and 44, and have since taken control of more than $1.8 billion in assets. The group of foreign nationals is allegedly involved in laundering proceeds from organized crime activities overseas, such as scams and online gambling. Several of them originated from Onshi, though they hold passports of different nationalities. Businessman Wang Kuan Cheng said the involvement of some Onshi people in the money laundering case should not be cause to stigmatize a whole group of people. The 58-year-old is president of the Hua Yuan Association, which has 6,000 members who are mostly new Singapore citizens and permanent residents from China. He said a recent report in local Chinese media that described Onshi as a fraudster's hometown had hurt the people of Onshi deeply, including himself and many members of the association who are first-generation immigrants from Onshi. Onshi County in southern Fujian province is a tea capital known for its Iron Buddha Tiguanin tea. It gained notoriety for cheats masquerading as fortune tellers and businessmen to defraud others in sham business deals said a 2016 report by the official Xinhua News Agency. Media reports also say Fujian has long been linked to crime from snakehead organizations that smuggle people into the United States by boat in the early 1990s to telecommunications and online scams in more recent years. Those of Onshi ancestry form a large part of Singapore's Hokkien's, which is the biggest Chinese dialect group at around 45% of the Chinese community here. And Kwai's Mr. Yeo said it pained him and many members, as well as their counterparts in Anxi, to read reports describing the county as the heart of criminal activities. He acknowledged that there are occasional attempts to take advantage of those from Anxi who have established themselves in Singapore. About five years ago, Another member of Enquai was offered some money by a young Onshi native to be a director of his construction firm. When the money laundering case hawked the headlines recently, this member said he was relieved that he was not enticed by the dodgy offer then, he said. Many from Onshi have contributed to Singapore for over a century, said Mr. Yeo, who is a businessman. This included building over 30 village schools in the early years of independence and contributing to the building fund of Nanyang University. Mr. Thomas Chua, president of the Singapore Hokkien, Hoi Kwan, said Singaporean Hokkiens are known for their greed and gumption and for contributing to Singapore's modernity, often quietly. Some famous examples are early pioneers, such as Tan Tok Sung. Tan Kok Kee in Tan Lak Sai. It is understandable that people may appear protective or even defensive 
when negative associations are made about a place they came from, said Dr. Li Wei Huang, head of Chinese studies at the Singapore University of Social Sciences. That is why reports on topics involving cultural or ethnic groups must avoid perpetuating stereotypes and respect the complexity of community identities. He said, people may feel compelled to protect the reputation of their ancestral home, especially if they believe it's being unfairly tarnished, he added.